got this, um, I'm still eating. And um, Rick doesn't like eating, I heard. Oh, I heard the Indians have it. See those, see those uh, readings? That's how high the power is turned up. And my chest is burning, my back is burning. And that's because I'm eating. You see, the traffickers don't want me to put on weight. So when I put on weight, um, they get really angry. As you can tell. Nineteen hundred plus. So I'm collecting data. So this is um I'm just demonstrating here. This is my spleen, my my left kidney, and my heart area. Because that's me. And look how long it's going on for. And I'm still eating. So I'm just going to continue eating. You see, a heart attack is better than being fat. When it goes up to 1900, um, and 2000, you have to get up and leave. Because once you do that, the beam that is focused on you, once you change the location, it has to reorient. So this is what directed, um, uh, not the, um, the, um, the weapon that I demonstrated on the video that I posted from YouTube, the active denial system that uses electricity and radio frequencies to burn your skin, cause pain, and cause you to leave the area. Excuse me, I'm being disciplined right now. I heard the Indians have it, maybe on behalf of Rick or maybe directly. So the Indians, there is an Indian family next door, and I was going out, and I passed her door on the way to the staircase at the side of the building. And as I walked past, she said, hurry up. And something else about uh, um, about um, the targeting that's going on. I can't remember exactly what she said. Um, so I had the idea that this family is subcontracting and they could see and hear and disciplining me. So these signals, um, if they are subcontracting, are directly related to their activity, which is really attempted murder, torture for sure. An attempted murder because I'm going to take my blood pressure readings and uh, I'm going to document that as well. But whoever it is that has the name on the account is directly responsible for this. And any subcontractors around my unit are also responsible for it. And this has been going on since, um, since um, Gord flagged me. This is how long I've been um, being radiated this way. Um, the power was probably not all always this high, but I noticed that every time that the, this Indian family makes comments, I get hit with these really, really high frequencies. So right now, my entire left 
back and chest is burning and hurting. And you notice, even though I'm recording it, it's not going down. So they mean business, which means that it's all fixed with stip. And a Caribbean sounding man outside the window is saying, you silly bitch. The cops already knew you. That's what he just said. Now I heard that Epstein, I read that Epstein had a lead-lined room. And I just got a pulse, a heart palpitation with a um, knock underneath the unit. Somebody called Mike Ween's name, Mike Ween. See, when I put on weight, the clients don't like it. There you go, 2086. Twenty eighty six. The power is increasing. No eating. Now this happens when I'm sleeping on my left side and uh, I heard the comment when I went to the doctor with a clicking sound that the walls of my heart was, was um, collapsed. The power was turned up so high. I'm giving you a really good example of what it means when the power is turned up. It's going on 10 minutes. Now to have the worker outside the window openly talk about Carlos vaporizing me, this is a good example of what it means to be vaporized. The beam is not aimed directly at me at the moment. It's uh, aimed in my vicinity or else I wouldn't be sitting here doing this. I would have to get up. But I, I am still feeling heat. The lower back is hurting.
So this is aging. This is rapid aging. This is how you get aged. Two thousand and eight. So I'm just gonna continue eating and um, see how long they're gonna turn up the power for. See if uh, they didn't pulse this, uh, these signals, I'd be cooked alive. And some of the tissues are is cooked, and it causes internal failure, organ failure, internal organ failure, like kidney failure, when the power is turned up this high. Excuse me. I heard Badra Nizar's name. I heard he's serious. It's going on 12 minutes. I'm just going to set this down. Just hold this up here. So the location is being pulsed rather than the body. I heard that the Indians don't want me here. I'm going to get up. So the location is being pulsed. So I'm back. So I could actually feel the heat. So if you the temperature of my body
And there's my, here is the temperature of my body. 37.4. That's the temperature of my body. Still pulsing. I heard that I'm going to kill myself. Well, I have absolutely no intention of killing myself. But um, what you notice here is the power being turned up. So what could happen is I could be killed off with these radio frequencies and these EMP pulses on my chest to cause a heart attack or something. And... Uh, the perps are spreading the rumors I'm suicidal and I'm going to kill myself. And that's a cover. I don't intend to kill myself. There's no suicidal tendencies. These, frequen these frequencies actually can cause depression. They can actually put suicidal thoughts into your head. That's very possible. I mean, the technology is there. There's no doubt that the technology exists. So my hip is hurting. And I just got a real huge pulse. There you go. Going on 20 minutes, 19 minutes. I'm hearing that the black man outside, the black sounding man, is saying, I'm letting the Indians do it. So he subcontracted with the Indian neighbor, most likely. Maybe uh, the Muslims. Because a little girl in the 
in the unit when I passed by said when I went to put out the garbage she said I could see her Twenty one minutes. Now, one way to deter people logging on to you is uh, to put on a little bit more weight than they like. I'm going to end it here.